Hey guys, welcome to this video. So in today's video, I'm going to be overviewing Google Analytics and I'm going to show you how to install it on your website as well. So let's get started. Now the website that I'm going to be overviewing is my naturalvita.net website. So I'm going to have a look at how many visitors are visiting this particular site on a daily basis. Also, where are they coming from? Are they coming from YouTube, Facebook, Google+, Twitter, and also what sites, what pages are they viewing? Are they viewing my main page here, so my blog page, or are they viewing um, how to buy this book? So the first thing that I'm going to do now is just log into my Google Analytics account. So I'm just going to type here Google, and then in the search area, I'm going to type Analytics. Okay, and then I'm going to click on Google Analytics here. Now, be aware here, I've already signed in to my Gmail account. I will be automatically logged into my Google Analytics account from here. So I'm going to click on Google Analytics. The website that I'm going to be analyzing is my naturalvita.net. So I'm going to click on all website data. So it's this website here. Okay. All right. There you go. Now, the first page that you're going to land on when you log into your Google Analytics account is this audience overview page here. So on the left hand corner here where you say audience, the overview is where you're going to land on first. So let's have a look at this bit here. Now this audience overview tells us how many people are visiting our website on a daily basis. So as you can see here on the 12th of September, I had 83 people coming, then 66, 74. So I have round about 80 to 90 on average. Uh, yesterday, 130 people visited my website. This is because I sent a newsletter to my uh, subscribers to my email list. So more people visited my website yesterday. And this is actually a very good idea. If you have an email list, you can send an email to your list with different links that lead onto your website. And then hopefully that can create more traffic uh, for your website. All right. So here we have the different numbers of people visiting. Now, if I scroll down a bit, so here you can see this graph and it displays how many people are new visitors to your site and how many people are returning visitors. So about 70% are new and 30% are returning visitors. And if we look at this uh, statistic here, we can see, for example, where it says bounce rate. So this just means that uh, people are visiting only one page on my website. So for example, this is my website and people are maybe just viewing this page here. And then after they view this page here, strawberry oat cookies, they leave my website. Now this can be a good thing or a bad thing. It depends. Sometimes people are satisfied with just that page that they um, have come to view and that's it. And then they leave again. Whereas other times people come and they don't find what they want and then they leave. So usually people say the lower the percentage for bounce rates, the better. But yeah, you can kind of use this as an indication anyway to see how many people are really having a thorough look at different pages on your website. And if it's extremely high, then, you know, I would maybe tweak some things on the website. Here where it says session duration, it just means how long visitors are staying on your website. So on average, mine is 2 minutes and 15 seconds. That's pretty okay, I think. Um, also, how many new visitors are visiting my website? So again, percentage is about 70%, so that's all right. And also here we have page views. So that's the number of total views of pages that are being viewed. Um, so that's actually pretty good. Now, if we scroll down a bit, we can also track where they're coming from. So what countries they're coming from. So for example, here it says ENUS. So that means from the US, from Great Britain, from Germany, from France. If you don't understand these abbreviations, um, never mind. You can click here where it says country. And it will tell you exactly which country uh, your visitors are coming from. So from the US, I get most of my visitors. And then second, the UK, and then Germany, Canada, India, Australia. So mostly English-speaking countries, which makes sense because my website is English-based, of course. Now, the second bit that is very important is um, if we go to this left-hand corner here, is this bit here where it says acquisition. So if we click on that and overview... 
This bit here tells us where our visitors are coming from. So if we look at this chart here, we can see that 72.4% have come directly to my website, maybe through a link somewhere, or they've typed naturalvita.net into Google and then have come that way. And then here it says organic search, so that's 23.1%. And that just means that people have searched for something on Google and have ended up on my website like that. And then here where it says social, so that's the 3% here, that just means that people have come either through um, you know, Twitter, Google+, maybe Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. And this last bit here where it says referral, that just means that people have been referred to my website, maybe through other websites. It's pretty good to know where they're coming from, of course. Now, if we look a little bit closer, so if we scroll down here, here where it says social, I've just clicked on this um, bar here. Okay. You can see exactly which platforms people are coming from. So Facebook is the top social media platform that people are coming from. So about 48 people are coming through Facebook. Instagram is the second, then Pinterest then from my YouTube channel, then Twitter, and then Google+. Now, this is something that is important to know because my YouTube here, so I could actually improve the amount of people that are coming from my YouTube channel because I have quite a lot of subscribers on YouTube, on both of my YouTube channels. So this is a good indicator here because I could add more links to my website from my YouTube channel, and I could also prompt people to visit my website from my YouTube. So that's a good thing with Google Analytics. You can really tweak things, you can find out where people are coming from, and then maybe start focusing your energy on other platforms so that you can get more traffic. I'm just gonna go back here now. So the last part that is also really important is this part here where it says behavior. And if we go to overview here, now this tells us what pages that your visitors are looking at. So that's important as well. It's not just how many people are coming and where they're coming from, but also you want to know what pages are they interested in. So um, if we scroll down here, so this is the page that most of the uh, visitors that come to my website view. So when you type naturalvita.net, um, into the search area here and you come to my website, this is my home page. So it's my blog posts, all of my blog posts here. So this is the page that most of the uh, visitors that come to my website view. The second page that is really important is the eight favorite healthy vegan dessert recipes. So people are very interested in this bit and also in the my book that I'm offering here, uh, people are interested in that. And people are also interested in the create your own book part of my website. So here I offer a course where I show people how to create their own ebook. So I guess people are also very interested in that as well. So this is again really good information because once you know what people are interested in, you can either direct your energy into these pages to also maximize the amount of um, turnover that you get from these pages or generally you can write more blog articles that relate to this similar topic as well so it's very useful to know exactly what uh, visitors are interested in of course there's a lot more to google analytics that is really important and uh, people have written books about it and there's a lot more that could be said but um, i would say these are the three most important things that um, you need to be aware of when you are analyzing your data. So you really want to know, let's just go back here just to overview what we've just looked at. So number one, you want to know how many people are coming to your website and I guess also what countries they're coming from. Also, you want to know where they're coming from. So uh, what has led them to your website? Uh, is it through social media? Is it through organic searches? So if it's organic search, you could even improve your SEO. So it's good to know these things. And finally, also you want to know what pages people are interested in. So that's the behavior section. Are they interested in a product that you're offering, a free gift maybe that you're offering? or a book or anything like that. So it's very useful to know these things. Okay, so the next step is to install Google Analytics on a WordPress website. I'm going to be doing this for a friend of mine. So I have already logged into her WordPress website and I am at the dashboard area. So if you're following along, make sure to log 
into your WordPress website as well and just leave it at the dashboard area for now. And then I've opened a new window here and I'm going to type in the Google search area here. I'm going to type analytics. Okay, and here where it says Google Analytics, I'm going to click on this. It is a good idea to have a Gmail email account. So Google is asking me here if I want to sign in with my Gmail email address. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. If you don't have a Gmail email account, I highly recommend that you create one. Uh, because it's very useful maybe in the future if you want to sign up with Google AdSense to put ads on your website or even to create a YouTube account it's really useful to have so I'm going to sign in with my friend's Gmail email address here okay so this is the page that you will land on once you have passed the gmail account section area so it just tells you here all of the different steps that you need to take in order to sign up with google um, analytics so here i'm going to click on uh, sign up all right it says website so that's selected so we're going to leave that because we uh, want to install it onto our website we don't want to install it um, as an app and next we've got account name. So we're going to put the name of our website or in this case, the name of my friend's website. Okay, so for website name, I'm going to put the same thing here, Elegant Life Blog. So copy and paste. And for website URL, let's have a look here. So it's the elegantlife.com. So I'm just going to copy and then paste that in here okay now industry category let's see I'm just going to choose beauty and fitness and for time zone we're going to make that Canada yeah that's fine all right so I'm just going to leave these checked and I'm going to get tracking ID use your cursor and just place it here where it says Google Analytics Terms of Service Agreement. If you place it here, you can drag it up like that. So that could be a, you know, a stumbling block for some people. Anyways, it's a good idea, of course, to read through the terms and conditions. Once you've done that, you can accept them. So I accept. And now I should get my tracking ID. So here it is. This is my tracking ID here. So now that I've got my tracking ID, the next thing I need to do is to go to my WordPress website. So in this case, my friend's website. And I'm going to... So here where it says plugin, go to plugin and then click on add new. And here in the search plugins area, you want to type Google and... Uh, so the one that I'm going to be installing onto this website is this one here. So it's the Google Analyticator. Okay, so I'm going to install now. And then I'm going to activate. We're still at the plugins area. And if I go down, it should be somewhere here now. There it is, Google Analyticator. So now that we've installed that, the next thing we need to do is go here to Google Analytics and then click on Google Analytics. So now we need to click here. So this link here where it says click here, click. So it says here, Google Analyticator for WordPress would like to view and manage your Google Analytics data. So let's allow. And then here, this code, you want to double click on the code and then right click and copy. Okay. And then we want to paste that into this area here. Paste and then save and continue. So this is just like a code, like a password. So it says here, Google Analytics integration is currently disabled. So what we want to do is enable. And here it says Elegant Life Blog. So that's the one we want. Yes, so that's fine. 
and we can more or less leave this as it is and save changes. There you go, Google Analyticator settings saved. So Google Analytics has been installed onto this WordPress website. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to dashboard over here. And if I scroll down, so here it says Google Analytics summary. So at the moment it is blank, there is nothing happening. And that's because we've just installed it, of course. But over time, when people start visiting your website, Google Analytics will start to record all of the data and then you can see it displayed here. So um, let me just give you a visual just to see what I'm talking about. Let me give you a visual from my website. Okay, so I'm at my dashboard area for naturavita.net and if I scroll down here, you can see here, this is the Google Analytics summary and um, it shows the past 30 days. You can you know, see what's happening the last 60 days or even just yesterday. So yeah, you can more or less track your data like that. And um, for my friend, this is just about to happen now. If I go back to her Google Analytics account just to see her status, it should eventually say here installed. So at the moment it hasn't yet done that, but um, it will change. The Elegant Life has been installed. So uh, Google Analytics has been installed for the Elegant Life blog. And um, there's already some traffic showing here. So this is for the 13th of October. And um, yeah, if I go to admin, you can see it's all been installed now and she can get her tracking info. Okay guys, so that is the end of the tutorial. If you found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and rate and comment if you have any comments and also of course if you are interested in healthy food recipes or generally if you want more business coaching or health coaching i offer that on my website be sure to check it out i will link it down in the description box and also if you're interested in publishing your own book but you don't know how to go about it i offer a course on my website it's very affordable and i show you exactly what to do step by step so Thank you guys for watching this and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.